Hey guys, how's it going? So as you guys can clearly see, this web browser is completely different from any normal web browser that you guys have seen, and it's for Google Chrome. So if you guys do want to make something like this for anyone special, then keep watching and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing for this video is we're gonna be needing two web addresses basically that I will be putting in the description. So the first one is called themebeta.com. Uh, let me duplicate this so you guys can see what it looks like when you first type it in. Themebeta.com and then you would just click over here to theme creator and you guys could also browse all these multiple themes that people have created and then saved onto uh, the website. But if you wanna create your own theme creator, uh, it is in the beta version, so it's not the best, but it's, in my opinion, really good. So the next thing that, once we get there, uh, you'll see that you guys can, um, it'll say here, upload an image. Now you guys do want to upload an image, and that's going to be the background. But as you guys see, this isn't just a regular background. This background is basically, you know, it's been edited. And in my opinion, the easiest one that I could recommend for you guys to edit would be coming over here to pixlr.com slash editor so basically here you would just uh, upload an image so to upload an image you can come over here to open uh, image and you're gonna select an image that you guys want to upload uh, let's see for example you guys want another heart you guys would just it would you would up, upload it and then basically you could select it by highlighting all of this once you highlight it by clicking this button, highlight, and you control C to copy it. And if you wanna save it, no, you don't. And the next thing to paste it onto this main canvas would be just control V. Um, now, for you to move this around, you actually have to click um, what's it called, free transform. And that allows you to change the orientation as well as its size uh, by however much you want it. So I will change the size just a little bit smaller to match the other ones. Uh, once it's been like that, you can just drag it over here and it'll be right there. And so then that's fine. Now, if you wanna make this bigger, you wanna apply the changes? Yes. Now, if you guys wanna make this bigger so you guys can make edits, you can zoom into 100 and now we're gonna come over here. Now if you guys see, obviously these little white box, this white box around it is not really appealing to the eye. So you guys can click this little eraser button and just make sure that the layer you're using is selected and just erase this and it'll, it'll easily go away. If you guys feel like you need it to be bigger, obviously you guys can increase this um, for better precision. Uh, and now to make the, you could also you know scroll with your mouse up and down to make it bigger. Now if you guys feel that your eraser is too big or too small, you can right click it and make, you can make it smaller or bigger. You just have to right click it for that. I will be making it bigger uh, just because to save some time. Uh, okay, because I already have most of this done. Uh, I would recommend you changing between small and big brush just because it's the most logical thing to do. <laughs> so anyways guys, after that's completed, what we're gonna be doing is basically, uh, let me see, let me just finish this up guys. Sorry, okay, I think that's pretty good. Once it's zoomed out, it's a little bit tougher to see. Um, okay, so let's zoom out. Uh, okay. So there we go. Now, uh, I just realized from uploading it in the past that this has to be a little bit higher, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, just click the little pointer button. Uh, the text has to be selected. Here you go, it'll show you. Uh, to add a text, you guys can just click A. Um, I'm just gonna move this up a little bit more, or I'll put it right here. Put it right there. Yeah, that's better. It's actually a good idea. Anyways, uh, so then that's that. Uh, and as you guys saw, I showed you guys how to upload an image. Uh, and I showed you how to erase an image. And I showed you how to copy and paste it onto the canvas that you're using. Now, if you guys want to do this little mirror effect, you guys can just, when you guys are uploading an image like this one, 
you can just come over here and click image and then rotate uh, vertically and then I'll flip it that way and then vertically back and then horizontal back and that gives you the mirror image of itself uh, so I don't need this uh, so that's basically it and you guys can just like download images and just make it like that uh, and then everything will be uploaded and you guys can just you know keep on going uh, if you guys do want to have this little twin thing effect like it's just this the same thing that you guys do with uploading this except to a bigger scale so you would pull it you would put open image and you would select that picture and you would highlight let me see let me make this a little bit bigger and then you would uh, highlight the area that you want it to be so this and then you would click control C it'll show copy you exit out you want to save it no and then you put control V and then you would adjust it by clicking this little arrow, arrow right here uh, and move it to the left side and then upload another image and move it to the right side. That's basically it, guys. Um, so, and when you guys do start, it'll say create a new image. You guys have to select create a new image, not upload a new image. Although you can do it with uploading a new image. I'm just, it, but it, it's normally you do create a new image and then you'll have a blank canvas and then you paste one half of the picture and then the other half of the picture of the significant other or family member or family members. If you want to make a ton of little pictures here, square, 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 square of everyone and then just give that specific one to everyone. And I do she loves and I do know she loves cute stuff, so I just put in a ton of a ton of cute stuff like cards and stuff like that. So now to save it, you're gonna click save. You're gonna give it a name, Millie Chrome, that's what I'm naming it. And then you click OK. Do raise the quality to the highest guys recommendation right there wink wink anyways so okay and it'll be Millie Chrome uh, I have a previous one so it'll say do you want to overwrite it yeah I do um, so after that's done you're gonna come over here and you're gonna upload the image so upload the image Millie Chrome is that the right one or am I hallucinating I don't think that's the right one let me see file Save. Okay. Where's, where's directory on to which I see? Yeah. All right. Let me try that again. Okay. Something's off. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna save it as a new name, just to avoid any problems. Okay. We're gonna see. Click. Okay. High quality. Save it as Millie Wallpaper. Millie Wallpaper. Okay. Another one people to save onto my downloads. Sorry for that, guys. And we're gonna upload an image, Millie wallpaper. And there you go. I don't know why it was bugging out before. Uh, I want to put this top, and there we go. Basically, that that's what it is. And so, the next thing though is if you guys want to add this cute little watermark there, you guys will see that you guys can put like um. NTP attribution so basically it'll whatever you, you you would upload an image here and then it would show here if you guys want to put in a cute bear whatever it's the same thing as Photoshop I mean you don't have to um, and the background obviously now if you guys want to have these cute bears in the background uh, you can just uh, go to frame and it'll say choose image you just do the same thing you go to Google and download a picture of a bear and basically that's what it is you just download it upload image and do the same to toolbar that same image so that way it, it, it keeps it, um, it uniform um, so that's it and if you guys do want to change the color of these texts you can go to status bar and change it to blue uh, she likes blue so I'm putting blue uh, and then after all that's completed you're just gonna come over here to pack and we're gonna go to pack and install if this is the PC or laptop that she's going to be using uh, so it will install it automatically um, and you just click add theme in this sense uh, once that's done you guys can just go to a new tab and you'll see what it looks like basically and I, I think she'll really like it I mean she, she, she's very appreciative of anything so uh, so that's it for that one. Um, if it's not the uh, computer she's going to be using and you're doing this from your personal computer, uh, you, what you guys are going to do is do pack and download. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so pack and download. You're going to have this. Now it's going to come out as like kind of unreadable. So when you guys try to run this on their computer, 
you have to follow these steps. So let me show you. You're gonna click this. Now it says extensions, apps, blah, 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 continue. Now, let me give me a second and then you can click add theme. Now the reason it works for me, unfortunately I can't show you because I already changed the custom settings, is um, you have to find Google Chrome because uh, it'll show what you want to open it with. And what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and let me show you. All right, let me X this out. And it'll say, what do you guys want to open it with? Now you guys have to select Google Chrome. So what you're going to be going is to this PC, this PC, local disk, program files. Uh, let me read it for you. Program files x86. We're going to go to Google. Uh, Chrome application and then you're gonna select Chrome to open it with Chrome uh, and after that it'll show you everything so anyways guys that's basically it so if you guys have any questions if you guys enjoy this if you guys think this is really something that you guys want to do for your significant other or if you guys actually want to like um, what is it called make it and then upload it onto like upload it somewhere or take a, a link and put it on like Facebook and then comment it so I can see what you guys did with this stuff. I, then I think that's pretty cool, guys. So anyways, guys, peace out. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Anyways, guys, peace.